okay guys so today we're going to solve the problem longest common prefix so the question says write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings if no common prefix return an empty string okay so what we need to do in this question is we are given an array of you know elements so flower flow flight and we need to find uh you know the longest common prefix so what the longest common prefix might means is so here fl fl and fl in these three the term the you know this the characters f and l are repeated in all of them all the elements in the list so this is the longest common prefix as we go to o o is present over here o is present here in flow and but i but in flight here i is present so we can't you know go forward so in this case the longest common prefix is f and l because the first two letters are present in all of them okay okay and in this questions uh, we're given dog race car and car and if we you know start try to iterate through it we have d r and c so all of them are different so it's not a long it's not a it's not same so in the end we have no common prefix okay and one more thing this is the longest common prefix which means that even if at any point in the you know at the iteration so if you have f f f and the first iteration if you go to the second we have l l l in the third you have o o and i okay at any point if this is not the same then we'll stop like if we had over here w this is also w and if this g would also be in w we would not include this because this is we need the prefix okay so in that case also the answer would have been f and l okay so how we'll solve this problem is we're going to iterate through this list okay we're going to take the first element over here uh, f and we're going to compare it with all the other you know the C, that character with all the other elements in the list with f over here and you know the first set element over here okay and we're going to check if you know at any uh, we're going to check if this is same we're going to append that to uh, you know variable or if it's not then we'll just return whatever whatever list we uh, you know whatever a variable string we get the appended string will get later on okay this will be you know this will be understood when i go forward explain this forward okay so for now and one more thing when we solve this problem we're going to take first find this uh, you know in the list we're going to find the smallest character so we just need to iterate that many times so here flow is the smallest character so we will find uh, you know the length of flow which is 4 and so that we can just iterate as less as many times we can okay because after w if, since here flow is completed no or no character in the uh, you know list wouldn't have been same because this is an empty string over here after this we have e and then we have g they can't be same so we'll just stop okay so yeah so first we'll create a min length equal to str of 0 and its length okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go for i in range length of str we're going to compare it with every element so min length would be equal to min between the current min length and str of i the length of str of i okay str s of i okay let's just change this this is s over here okay so now what we'll get is the minimum length of the string so here 4 would have been so in this case 4 would be the you know minimum length now what we need to do is we'll create a longest common prefix you know variable lcp we'll create a variable i equal to 0 now what we'll do is we'll iterate through it now while i is less than min length oh sorry min length now since i is less than min length what we'll do is we'll create a character the character would be the first element so str s of i of 0 of i so what str of 0 of i means is we're going to take the very first element which is flower and 
its f- uh, very first in- index which is f okay so the, uh, char in this case would have in this case is f okay now what we we'll do is we we'll create another loop for j in range length of strs 1 to str of s okay so what we'll do here is we're going to compare it with f then flight we don't need to compare it with f because we're just taking the char is the very first index of you know the first element okay now in this case for uh, yeah so what we we'll do is if char is equal to uh, str s of j of i so what str of j of i means is this flow okay j is 1 so j is the second first element of the list and i is 0 so the first character of it so if j and uh, you know if this element f is equal to this char which is f again okay so let's do this it's if it's not equal to so if it's they are not equal we'll just return tcp sorry lca and yeah if it's not same we'll just return lca and now this will iterate through iterate to all the elements of the list so it will go from flow to flight now we'll check with flight now if they're same we'll just now since the iterations are also complete what we'll do is just we'll append it to the lcp the character to lcp and we'll increment i okay and in the end we'll just return tc sorry lcp yeah okay so let's run the code okay so we have an error so this is str of s okay now what okay so this is i forgot to put length over here so this is length yeah okay and let's submit this yeah it's submitted guys so let's do a run through of this one more time so this is the question okay we have str of s as these three elements okay so first now we're going to make min length equal to the length of flower so which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is 6 okay now we're going to iterate through the elements of the list to find the minimum the the, uh, the word with the most minimum letters okay so we're going to go through the very first and so we can also make this as one okay we, you can also make this from one to the end of the list so yeah in this case we're going from flowers but it doesn't have any point so we'll just go to flow now we'll check the current length which is 6 and the flow's length which is 4 which is less uh it's just that is 4 so we'll uh, you know just change min length with that then we'll go to flight we'll check the length of it which is 6 and the current min length is 4 so you won't change it so we have min length equal to 4 now now we'll create two variables you go to lcp and i is equal to 0 now we're going to iterate through you know all the characters or uh, just four times not all the characters we're just going to go through four characters of the list because the flow has only four characters so the first four characters we are only going to check them so the first character we'll make char equal to str of 0 of i so what str of 0 of i is f it's this flowers very first character which is so str of 0 is flower which is the first element of str of s and i is 0 so f we're going to get f as char now okay now we have this now we're going to go through the when we create a j loop and we're going to go through it from 1 to length of str of s so from 1 to all remaining elements of the list so flow and flight will also be included in that okay now we're going to check if char is not equal to so f is so since if f is not equal to str of s of j of i so what str of s of j is in this case is 1 j is 1 so we're going to go to str of the very first you know first indexed character 
uh, first index element and going to the ith element, which is zero. So f. So we're gonna check if they're same. If they're not the same, actually. So if they both are the same, so we'll just go continue. Once we continue, we go to flight. We're gonna do the same as flight. We're gonna check it with f. Now it's the same again. We'll just continue. Now j is you know completed. Then we'll just go and in, you know add LCP to the character. So now LCP would be f. We we'll add the character to LCP. So yeah, so LCP is now f, and we'll increment this to one. Now one when this is incremented, now s char is now str of zero of i, which is l. Okay, this character. Now we're gonna go through the loop again, doing the same thing. We're gonna go to this element, and we're gonna go to its j, which is one, and i, which is again one. So we're gonna check this. If they're the same, we'll continue. Then we'll go to this element. We're gonna check if this is same, and we'll again continue, and we'll append this to l, l to lcp, and we'll increment this to two. Now when we increment this to two, we're gonna go to char again. We're gonna check str of s of zero of i, which is now o. We're gonna check if this is the same with this. It is. Then we'll just continue and we'll go to i. So this is not the same. We'll then we'll just return lcp, okay? And when we return lcp, we'll get is fl, okay? So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.